Take her out here. Servers have arrived. So I thought um, we'd have a look at their arrival condition and and inventory them a bit. See what they contain and or don't contain. So let's get into it. So anyway, this is the first server. So I actually purchased two. So. Look what this contains. Let's see how well it survived the transport. Okay, big box. Where to put this? So, that was server number one out of the box and we will be taking a closer look at it. I think we will actually unpack the second one also. Let's get this on prep the same way I did the first one. <laughs> 
So anyway, here are the two servers on the back side, missing back plate. Ah, not a big deal. And this is where it gets um, complicated when you look at the specification. You don't have good pictures. They never provide. No, not very many they provide. So in, in, in this case you have, even if it's called the 380p, you have a huge variation of different configurations. Absolutely amazing. So for example, this, era, this one has actually four uh, standard network connectors and then it has the special port for the uh, HP monitoring interface ILO and then it has four USB it's, uh, a um, serial connection and then VGA and one power supply as, as was specified in. but then this other one it has uh, dual power supplies for USB VGA oh, it's got the serial moved over here and then it has one ILO port but there's no, the, the network card is basically a, a variant where you put in these network uh, uh, modules. So you can have like fiber or 10 megabit or 100 megabit. Or. So the modules are missing. And um, so this is where I was saying when specs are specs, you know, it's, um, I, I might have an issue where this doesn't, this current, in its current configuration, you can't use the ILO port for standard Ethernet, so that means this has basically no network card, no network access. Now this has an overblown, overblown amount. This is okay because you have actually uh, four network ports. So. Um, I'll get these turned around we can have a look at the other side. So anyway, this is the uh, front side. Oh, where are my hard drives? Well, actually, they, they were supposed to come without hard drives and without the caddies. And uh, those I have, we'll have a separate video on those. Um, but here you have on the front side your VGA, quick release if you had it in a rack. And then you had a USB port and the on and off button or a sleep mode power on. And it's the same configuration on this uh, other server. And um, this one looks a little bit more manhandled than this one does. This one looks more clean. So I can see more like ripped out of the rack as is. This one here, I'm not sure if it's actually been sitting in a rack peacefully all its life or it's actually been. Yeah. I mean, if you look here, this is uh, much cleaner on this space. And here it's a little bit more rough. It's like this being a little bit more. And somehow it seems like you know, what kind of dust or something's in there. So this is definitely being a little less clean and warm. So anyway, let's get them open and um, see if we can uh, see what they contain. So anyway, here we have this one. And the way you open these is you just lift this lever and then you can lift up the whole cover. The way they do it when you turn the cover the other way around is it has general layout information, different configurations, some key information, um, yeah, dim configuration stuff, found locations, how to swap out a processor. not so good okay so it should be 32 gigs of RAM So, um, 
Okay, two processors as ordered. I don't know if they have the type there. Can I check that? Yeah. So when we have to boot it up to to figure out what, um, the processors are, so is it according to the spec? Uh, motherboard, as you see, there are there's only one PCI riser card. The other one goes here. And the sad thing is, I have the camera from the wrong angle, so you can't actually see to the outside. But in in, in this um, motherboard, it does not seem to have a SCSI a RAID controller on the motherboard. It's actually a separate card with a battery backed up. Um, cash card on the I think I'm gonna have to move the camera around first but let's have a look at the memory first I'm not a hundred percent sure the way the memory is being slotted in here or they've just gone in and taken out memory so I'm going to before I boot this I'm gonna double check that the memory uh, the slots are populated so that's four. 16, yep. Yeah. That's at least the correct amount of memory. As promised. Oh wait, is this HP stuff? Now Samsung first planet. Well that's okay. Cisco. <laughs> is it from some networking device? Uh, you, you don't know that this is even the original RAM and this these things. So you you just you can't tell. It could be that they they optimized the RAM so they give you something that just makes it work. But it, it, it doesn't really. Yeah, as I said from for from a hobbyist perspective, I'm not building a real data center, so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get as long as it as it's stable and it boots I'll be happy. Survey mechanic. I do have an engineering degree, so I suppose I should be able to do a technician's job. Mm -hmm. yeah, power supply slots. So you can actually you can have two two power supplies on this unit also. And then you have the fans here. They're hot swappable, so you can take them out. Not terribly dirty. Actually, quite nice. It's been enough relatively friendly environment. Um, I'm going to move the camera so we can get a better look at the um, the RAID coordinates there. So anyway, so um, this is a P the PCI riser card and then you have the networking Oh, this this one doesn't got that. It's on the other. So anyway, this had integrated um, Ethernet on the motherboard, which is good. But this is a the riser card, the PCI riser card. And then here you have the RAID controller for the front um, front um, disk or the backplane. It, it it go the cables go directly to the backplane for the front disk configuration. And then it has a caching cord. And then I, the battery module for the caching cord is actually hidden under here, I think. Ah, I put this back in there. Nope, it's all the way. <laughs> Just out of the range of the camera. Oh, doesn't that suck? Wait. If I can get. Yeah, there. So there's the, um, I think in this version it was a battery. Let's check. Five point four seventeen farads. Well, I think that's a capacitor. So the in yeah, this is this is the interesting thing is that there are these. If it's a battery and or a capacitor, is it in good enough shape to survive my hobby use, or is it dead? Because the uh, the RAID controller card, if the ca cache hasn't got um, power, or if this um, 
uh, power backup is not working for the memory on the cache card, the cache memory might not be operational. So maybe you can. Oh, they got nice, nice memory markings here. Channel one, channel two, channel three. As I said, I'm going to look at the user manual for this um, server just to make sure that that memory, memory you know, configuration is legal. The physical slot arrangement of the memory. Okay. Oh, um, anything else to say about this? We covered the memory, the processors, the PCI, the networking, the power supply configuration, the back, the energy cell for the RAID cache, uh, the fans, and that's pretty it. So I think we'll have a look at the other one, but I think we'll maybe do that a little bit faster because I don't know if I want to. Oh, and then it has another battery here, a coin cell battery. It's like uh, old, old, in, yeah, older computers. <laughs> so this this is standard. This is like a CR. What is it? Ah, oh, two or three, three. Ah, no, I could actually look at it. Th th those are not dumps. Like uh, CR two or three two batteries. So that that can be swapped out easily. It's not uh, proprietary for that. So I'll just get the camera set up for the other unit. We'll have a look at that. Oh, here's the other one. Um, same lift up mechanism. This seems to have more RAM spaces. Oh, I closed the other one, so let's check. So there's like two processes configurations on both sides, and then I'll just, um, for sanity's sake, this is yeah, four gigs Samsung memory. Same old old huh. if anybody knows why there's Cisco markings on this would be nice to know. Have they had like Cisco servicing or why? Why would they be um, Cisco? Okay, so that's that. Hardware encoding chip. Double check in the user manual. It was talking about some um, hardware encoding, in hardware encryption module you can have on. But anyway, that's uh, two processors, uh, same fans. Looks like the energy pack for the RAID controller. And that looks more like a battery. So this one might be using a battery. And it has a PCI riser card, but there's no cards in it because the RAID controller in this version is integrated into the motherboard. So it's the, the motherboard. And then um, you have the cache, cache module here on the side, which has a uh, this energy cell backup. And it looks like there's actually two slots, so you could actually have two energy energy circuits or energy packs. I'm not 100% sure why they're here. Is it just to, that they get better cooling? That it's too hot to have them in the main area? So that's a little. Um, um, okay, align with cage. Huh? 
and then it has the same markings to the memory this and this is not that terribly dusty or uh, horrible inside and you can have another razor the same type of razor card you can actually buy they they dump them on the on the cell sites so you can actually if you want to have a second one then you can just buy one one extra and they're not that super expensive and ah that was what i forget to mention here you have the um power for if you have a a PCI card that needs its own dedicated power, then here's the power outlet for it. But you uh, you need a cable, and then of course, as you see, the cable is not provided. So, no, I haven't actually checked if that were, that is a standard power cable, or, not, or if you could use a standard power cable. But I'm not sure if I will put in extension cords um, or not. Coin cell battery on this side. There's also an SD card slot in here. I think the other one also has. That's probably not nothing I'm going to do. So with this with this configuration, oh, have I got the camera in the wrong place again? Oh, sorry, I have to move the camera. <laughs> Gosh, you can't see. Here's the network card, and then you have two. You you slot in the network modules here, the adapters, so that you can go out to difficult different physical media. But you can actually buy these cards also online, relatively cheaply. So you, you, you I could make it the same configure. I could make the network configuration similar to what the other one is, or I'll just buy um, the modules for. I have gigabit Ethernet that I'm running currently now. Or I use the ILO port, which ca which may or may not work as a normal network port. I actually haven't um, gone into the details in the user manuals to that extent that I know if it will work. <laughs> and then of course one can throw in any any PCI-based networking card as long as you have driver, like the op if, uh, as long as the operating system you're installing on it has drivers for. It. So basically, you, you, are, you, you don't have to use this this module you can install it. And, and and I think uh, wasn't there a missing backplane the cover from that other server they probably had one of uh, that you know uh, an additional network card or something on the other you know and then they've just taken it out and left the, um, the back open mm. So, interesting enough, I bought basically two servers with the same ID and then they turn out to be not so similar, even even when it comes to the motherboard layout. But th then the thing is that when you go into the, user, the HP user manual for this series also there's like, oh god, so many variations, so many type numbers. So I'm, I'm not super irritated or surprised that I have two relatively <laughs> different <laughs> configurations. And it actually, to a certain extent, it might be a benefit. So maybe one will work better than the other. If the other one doesn't work very well, then I can actually rotate. W what I do with the servers, I can change you know, based on uh, you know, how well they perform. So, uh, yeah, power supplies here in the corner in this, one, in this case. Not two of them. Maybe anything else to say? I mean, one can always wonder if the capacitors are okay on these units and stuff. That you know, highly depends on how they've been, what environment they've been used in. But I, ah, con compared to retro computing, these are relatively young units, and as long as they've been in a decent data center of some kind, and, and it doesn't doesn't look that bad. I mean, these aren't like they've got a bit of IT dust on them, but not not um, unreasonable amounts. One would think that they'd be in a kept in As I said, this one looks more patched around. It's, uh, like mechanically. Compared to the other. Yeah. So, that was that. I uh, hope you found it informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Um, merch is available. Or if you just want to buy me a cup of coffee. Links are in the description. 
and I'll see you in the next one. We're going to start the servers.